Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this is another episode about Coursera. In the previous video I talked about top 10 courses on Coursera right now and this video is a little bit extended. Uh, I will cover 32 most popular courses. Briefly, I just want to discuss what these courses are about, what Coursera is for, who mostly uses Coursera and cover general statistics. So. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous video, please do that right now and then we can come to this video as well. This video is mostly also about statistics, so I will start with them right away. Uh, Coursera is one of the most popular education platforms. Uh, there are 43 million students as of right now. There are almost 4,000 courses and over 300 specializations from top-notch institutions and companies. Uh, so that includes like Stanford, Wharton, uh, IBM, Google, uh, you'll find courses from these institutions and companies on Coursera, so this is really great. Uh, and it's really a great way to, to learn, mostly also because you can audit the courses for free. You don't have to pay for most of the courses, you just have to audit the course and then go through the videos. Of course, that's not the full learning experience because you won't be able to get the certificate and you won't be able to get some of the help from instructors, teachers uh, of these courses. Uh, but on the other hand, those courses are not that expensive compared to usual educations. Mostly the prices are between 20 to $60 per course or per specialization and you'll get a hands-on approach. A nice addition is that some of the courses, so for example like IBM Data Science, will allow you to uh, program directly on the platform. You don't even have to go outside of the platform, you don't have to install Jupyter Notebooks or run anything on your laptop, you can do that through uh, this platform on Coursera, so that's really great. So let's have a look at the list right now. Uh, the last top 10, the, the, the top 10 I have covered already in the last video, uh, the list starts currently with machine learning uh, from Stanford run by Andrew Ng, co-founder of Coursera uh, and there are also three other courses from him, Deep Learning by Deep Learning AI and AI for Everyone. Uh, so Deep Learning AI is this initiative by Andrew Ng uh, with the goal to teach and uh, make AI as available as possible, so it's basically a movement towards democratization of AI. And AI for everyone is a course for really everyone, especially for non-technical people and deep learning. On the other hand, it's for people who already had some experience with machine learning data science and want to go deeper. Apart from that, that on the top 10 you get a couple of courses on Python, like Python for Everybody, Google IT Automation with Python, uh, run by Google, uh, IBM Data Science, uh, Data Science by Job Hopkins, it's in R, so the same, pretty, pretty much the same material as in IBM uh, Data Science, but different language. Uh, then you have also Applied Data Science, more on the commercial side, and the Science of Well-Being done by Yale, this is the only non-technical, non-data science course on this list in top 10. Uh, and then number 10 is Excel Skills for Business, which is yet again, to be honest, it's data science, even though Excel might not be considered like the best language to do data science, it's often the most uh, the, the widely spread tool right now, especially in business, because it doesn't need really uh, much of education when it comes to using that. But however, if you want to be proficient in using Excel in all its different features, then you probably have to take some course or spend some time to learn those skills. So yeah, that, that, those were te top 10 courses. Let's now go and see what's out there also. So for example, Number 11 is Architecting with Google Compute Engine. Uh, number 13 also is run by Google. This is G Suite Administrative Fundamentals. And in general, if you look at Google, uh, they have a couple of courses uh, run around specialization certifications, mostly targeted to IT professionals, but not necessarily uh, in data science, machine learning, but uh, mostly people who want to administer IT resources. Uh, and then ag again you have data engineering, big data, machine learning on GCP. Uh, so Google tries to certificate its own experts. Uh, on the other hand, you have this business foundations by University of Pennsylvania, Wharton. Uh, so this is the course that, uh, this is uh, run by Wharton and 
Uh, Wharton is very well known for its MBA programs uh, in business. And this seems like a very interesting specialization for all the people who uh, think about running their own business or think about managerial positions uh, in, at the companies they're working already. So uh, I wanted to mention just this course. Uh, I found it interesting. Also a different thing is graphic design. I'm happy to see it at position number 15 run by California Institute of the Arts. Uh, this is yet also something different. Then we're coming back to Excel uh, and Excel to MySQL, uh, analytical course from Duke University. Number 17 is business analytics, again by University of Pennsylvania. Number 18, career success. So this is another course which is not related directly to programming or data science. And it's mostly about the soft skills you need to have in order to boost your career. Uh, so this is pretty interesting as well. Um, number 19, we have Java Programming and Software Engineering Fundamentals by Duke University. Uh, number 20, we have SQL for Data Science by University of California. Then we're coming to a very interesting course on Mathematics for Machine Learning uh, by Imperial College London. So this is the first non-US institution here on the list. Uh, and moreover, mathematics for machine learning is very important, especially if you want to progress with data science and machine learning, then learning how to do properly mathematics is really important and having this grasp of fundamentals is important and this course is really well suited for that. Then we have uh, more on of the business side, introduction to project management, principles and practices by University of California, Irvine. And then we're coming back to UI UX design. Uh, this is similar to graphic design, I guess, uh, by, the same, by the same institution. Um, then again, cor course around analytics and X Excel. This is data analysis and presentation skills, the PwC approach. So PwC is very well known and res respected, respected consulting firm. Uh, as you might know, they're, uh, they, they're running the operations globally and they are really famous for doing the presentations. So this is like a good course to learn their approach. On number 25, we have Financial Markets by Yale University. Uh, so this might be especially interesting to uh, financial students. Uh, then we have a very general course on Improve Your English Communication Skills by Georgia Institute of Technology. So this is really for every, anyone. Um, be that uh, foreign who wants to move to the US, UK or other sp English speaking country uh, or just for people who want to improve their English communication and even though the English is their mother tongue. Um, number 27 we have Statistics with R by Duke University. Uh, so this is uh, like a classical approach to statistics using R. Uh, nothing to add more here I guess. Uh, 28 is Methods and Statistics in Social Sciences by University of Amsterdam, so another uh, European institution here. 29, Digital Marketing by University of Illinois uh, in Urbana-Champaign. Uh, this is uh, also on more on the business side. Then we're coming back to Data Science with Data Structures and Algorithms by University of California, San Diego position number 30, uh, and then two courses uh, also in this direction, 31, Python Free Programming by University of Michigan, and 32, Introduction to Data Science by IBM. So this is the list for the first 32 most popular courses right now. And as you can see, uh, of course, I will give you the link to the, the whole list down below and you'll be able to browse by yourselves and click on the, all the courses and see what's interesting for you. Uh, the general remark is that Coursera, Coursera is still mostly about data science, programming, Python, uh, sometimes R, uh, but it's uh, slowly branching towards business and general analytical skills. So. I think Coursera is going into this mostly technical direction, uh, not necessarily for technical people, because as you can see, there are like things like Excel skills for business uh, or this business foundations, business analytics, career success. There are a couple of things which are becoming non-programming, non-data science, but it's still vastly uh, concentrated on data science, machine learning, and most of the education is coming from the institutions uh, in the US and moreover in uh, mo from this list most of these institutions are actually in California. 
So that's also interesting. Probably o over the half of them, I guess. Um, so th this is it for the first 32 cur most popular courses on Coursera. If you're looking for online education, then Coursera is really, really the best to uh, pick up new skills or improve your existing skills. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun just going and browsing different courses. So probably on my channel, I will also run different videos around Coursera, around particular courses, particular skills, skills you might want to acquire. Uh, so let's stay tuned. If you like this kind of content, if you like Coursera, please give the like to this video, uh, subscribe to my channel and then see you in the next episode.